So I think most of the boxes have been delivered for our project. Starting to assemble them today. Uh, we're gonna put these on Monday, so I gotta get the batteries in them and get them all put, ready to go. So what we have in most of these boxes are a product called Vents. They're a radio tracking collar that goes on cows. You can program in fence lines with your phone virtually so then you can rotate graze or contain where your cows are. Uh, these collars will go around their neck and provide an audio alert and then a shock if they get too close to the perimeter of the fence that you established. So I'm going to get these opened up and the batteries in them. I'll explain some more details later. These other boxes go to the radio towers. Same with these pallets over here. And the radio towers are what program the collars so they can learn new fences. You can do it in real time right off your phone and change it whenever you want to. Each collar has a battery that has to be hooked up. Um, they're non-rechargeable and they're supposed to last up to six months. So I gotta take each collar out of the package, plug the battery in, and then screw this lid on. So we got a hundred of these to go. It's gonna be kind of a slow process. Here we are, putting together cow collars in the living room. Just another Sunday night. Everything's about cows. Only have 18 more to go. Getting close. Getting all set up this morning to put collars on the cows. We're gonna go gather them and okay. hopefully it goes well. Gorgeous day to be getting some cows in. gathering pairs in to place the collars on them today. Got to sort a few off because we've got more than the forest permit here. We'll get collars on and get them turned out farther to grass. And then the 16th of June, we'll go on the forest permit with them. So we've got a four or five day training period with the collars to get them used to it. They said that's about all it'll take for them to comply. Now we're in the corral. And Reese is gonna sort the ones that he wants put on the forest. So his initial herd is used to the forest. They know where they're going. They've been there before. So they will get the collars and the rest will stay here at this lease ranch of ours.
themselves watching everybody. Making sure they're behaving. The gray part of the collar is where the GPS receiver and all the electronics are and the chains on each side attach the collar to the cow and they also act as the electrode that delivers the shock to the cow if she's going to go through the virtual fence. The two big plastic chain links act as a insulator between the two chains and they're attached with little cable zip ties. You can adjust the size for each cow just by dropping chain links. I was very surprised at how much difference there was in the neck size of all the cows. Some were quite large and some were pretty small. I just never thought the neck size would vary that much. 
but they seem like they're on pretty secure. And the little green cable zip ties also act as a breakaway, so if a cow gets hung up in a tree or a fence, that piece should break away so they don't get stuck. Here's my Betty girl. We had a good crew for the day. Cooper in the brown hat is our full-time hired man. He's invaluable to Circle P. His wife, Mandy, was also there for the day. She comes on her days off and enjoys cow work. And then we have Anders, who is in the background. He's a college kid I hired to change water and help for the summer. And our four toddlers, I'm not sure if they're a help or a hindrance sometimes, but they sure enjoy being out and doing cow work with us. Turning the collared cows out, all the change jingle. It kind of sounds like sleigh bells on a team or something. We have the collars on, now I have to get the towers built that program the collars on the cows. It works by getting it received a signal from my cell phone or computer, and then it sends a signal to the cow to program the fence lines, but the actual collar is controlled by GPS. So I started opening these and Kind of like a big erector or Lego set, but it's all high quality, nice aluminum pieces. They didn't cut any corners on costs. A couple box of hardware. Got cables to hold up the towers, bolts, all kinds of things. And then eight 12 volt, I think they're deep cell marine batteries, four for each tower. So. Got a little bit of time ahead of me to get this assembled, but Vince wanted an extra thousand dollars a tower if they sent somebody or they were assembled. So I think I can get it done for that. Towers are starting to take shape. Must be a couple hundred bolts per tower. We're about half done and I still got a couple bags of each. We're getting there. It's hard at work putting his towers together. Lots of parts. I think he's regretting his choices to build it himself. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Following the directions on his phone. Good thing we got manuals. And he's got his Bales Hay hat on. Hi, Trevor Bales. <laughs> so that's it for the first part on the video about the Vents cow collars. Um, we've got the collars on the cows and the stations are almost built. I just have to mount the solar panels. So the next part will be putting these towers up so they can send the signals to the cows and then we'll have a, a training period on the cows so they learn what the audio and shock alert, alerts mean. Um, we'll set up the perimeter on the fence line of the current pasture, then slowly make that pasture smaller. So stay tuned for the next video about this Vents project and we'll see how it works. We're pretty excited and eager to see how this goes. Um, it could be a big game changer pasturing and rotating cows around with the cost of fence now to build new stuff and the cost of labor to move poly wire this, this could be a game changer and we're hoping that it works in the timber ground so thanks for watching and see you next time